Coming up today on Houston Life, the biggest tech event of the year goes virtual. We'll have a preview of the 2021 Consumer Electronics Show and all the hot gadgets you don't want to miss. Plus, getting in shape doesn't have to be boring. See where you can add some color to your workout by using paint. And if you're struggling to get everything done at work, an alternative health expert shares tips to help you boost your brain energy. And today marks the eighth year that KPRC is out here with our Houston Habitat for Humanity family doing a wonderful build for one lucky local family. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. <laughs> From Studio B at KPRC Channel 2, Houston Life starts now. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Houston Life, January 11th. Courtney Zavala, my goodness, there you are on the split screen. You are a sight <laughs> for sore eyes. How are you doing there at home? Oh, you know what? We are, uh, we're doing okay, for sure. It's so good to see you. Hi to everyone out there, all the viewers. I love hearing from everyone. I miss you all so much and can't wait to get back in studio. Um, you know, you guys know that uh, Orlando has been battling COVID and uh, that's where I've been. I've basically been his um, nurse, room service, front desk, whatever it is that, uh, you know, we operate here, but it's been it's been a crazy 14 days for sure. It sure has. We miss you here in studio. How's he doing? Is he on the mend? Do you think uh, he's going to test negative in the next few days? <sighs> Gosh, we're hoping so. He went today uh, this morning to get a test, and you know he does say that he doesn't have the severe body aches or headaches. Um, he does not feel like himself at all. He says the fatigue is still. Um, a very serious side effect. Um, and, uh, you know, like his, he had did, never had any problems breathing. His oxygen level remained normal this entire time. But he says now he's noticing um, maybe like more shallow breaths or it's hard. I describe it as sort of like he can't really do a yoga breath, you know, like where you inhale quite long, maybe a five count and exhale on a five count. He said that's very difficult to do. Um, but he's not coughing either. So I just, I feel like every day there's going to be some sort of improvement, I hope, you know, and some side effects that could linger for a while. Well, we've got our fingers crossed. Those side effects are mild and we hope to see you back in the studio very soon. Uh, or you're missing our Habitat, Houston Habitat for Humanity build. So I many know. folks from our team, Courtney, not just the on-air people, but we've had our shooter, Paul, producers, Beatrice and Kat, who were out there uh, swinging hammers this morning, putting, putting that house together. And we are definitely gonna be following that progress as that house is put together. And we're gonna meet the very deserving family later on this it's week. It's such a great cause, and I'm so proud of KPRC to continue that relationship with Habitat for Humanity. And it's so great to get out there and be part of the build. And typically that build, the first day, is happening right in our KPRC2 parking lot, um, which is totally different this year, obviously, because of social distancing and things that they have to put in place. But there's something to be said to, like, putting a nail in a board and, and getting out there and kind of doing it, doing all the work together. Um, I'm a huge fan of Habitat for Humanity. Orlando and I volunteered together in Salt Lake in Utah many years ago. And so um, it, it's really an, an incredible cause. Yeah, and, and a reminder too, I mean, it's not just a handout. Families are not given these no. homes. They still have to pay for them. There's a mortgage involved. Uh, it's it's what Habitat calls a hand up, not a hand out. So uh, a very deserving family will receive the home that our team is working on and interestingly last year Courtney when we were in the parking lot starting this home build the sun was out I think we were yes. all wearing t-shirts I mean we brought our coats because we thought we would need them this week in Houston it turns out we actually really did need our coats and for those of you who are maybe up north yesterday or who have family and friends who live in snow country <laughs> my goodness we had a little bit of a snow day we did, and I was waiting. The boys were so excited. They kept saying, we're going to bring Oscar out in the snow. And um, it seemed like everybody but us got it. There's a, there's a funny meme going around, uh, you know, like the rest of Texas is covered in snow, and then it's sort of a guy standing there with a smirk on his face. I think it's like it's a fan from the Rockets game. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's quite funny because, man, we just we dodged it. 
We got the cold and the rain. We just needed to get a little colder. It didn't happen. We did. Well, our director, Chris, who's directing Houston Life in our control room right now, he went up to see family in College Station yesterday. And I know his twins, Paige and Ella, they were so excited to see the snow. They're eight or nine years old. But, you know, people were sliding off the road. They ended up towing a woman, her car, out of, out of a ditch. And I think for so many Texans, we're not accustomed to driving in the snow. Right. Or, I mean, people, the roads here are crazy. But, you know, former Channel 2 anchor Bill Bayessa Courtney, I'm not sure if you saw what he posted on Instagram yesterday. <laughs> so, so look closely. The caption says, oh, sometimes you got to get creative. That's a little <laughs> puddle. And Bill was unable to make a snowman out of snow, but he did <gasps> manage to, uh, to either make one or find one there in that puddle. <laughs> oh, my word. Well, he gets extra credit for that that is amazing i love the melted snowman isn't it i guess good? that's what we can call it right i mean it never exactly froze but. i think days like days like yesterday were so nice i know it's chilly today as well yesterday it was a good reason just to stay inside i was bundled up i was reading uh vanity fair online these days is genius in case you want to read they have a lot of free articles online uh love that publication anyway i was inside reading and i thought you know what I'm feeling cooped up. So by the afternoon, I decided yep. I was going to put on my long underwear, Courtney, my underpants, and I put on, I put on, okay, not one pair of gloves, but two, two layers of gloves. Right. And I, I put on the long underwear and everything, and I went outside. I decided I would go on a bike ride. And there I was. Oh. I hit the trail. So there was not one other cyclist out. I was riding I along the Buffalo not. Bayou. No, some people were out in their full rain gear, walking dogs or just whatever. I very quickly realized maybe this was not the best idea <laughs> um, to be out there because all of these layers, I was, I was soaked. And if you can I imagine bet. how that feels on a bike, like when you're riding a bike and you're on the squishy bike seat. Also, <laughs> my bike doesn't have mud flaps or mud guards. So, <laughs> so you were covered. <laughs> so I was covered. And you know, right now, while we're building the house, we live temporarily downtown. So when I got back to my building downtown, Brandon was down in Galveston yesterday, but I got back in it was like Swamp Thing showed up in the front lobby of my building. First of all, I struggled getting in the door with my bike. I was soaked. Right. My feet were just sort of, I don't know, you know when you step in a puddle and your foot is, you know, your squishy. feet are squishy? Yeah. Well, the entire backside of my body was covered in mud. Look closely there. That's sand or dirt or both from the bayou. And what? it was like I had rolled in the mud. Oh my word, how did, did you, so you didn't put any like rain gear over your pants? Well, I did have a little like rain. You know, like a protective layer over your I pants? don't know, I mean, I guess I could have worn like ski pants or I guess I could have just stayed inside reading. <laughs> Uh, in the warm weather <laughs> instead of going out. I had to get outside. It clears my brain. I hey, know. So you stayed inside, though. I saw what you posted on Instagram. You were making little, like, mini dessert waffles. Was it a meal? Was it a snack? Um, a dessert? So what? I bought this $10 waffle maker. It's the best $10 I've ever spent in my life, this Dash mini waffle maker. And the boys love it. Cute. It makes the perfect waffles. But what is mind-blowing is... All of the information that everybody has been sending me to put in the mini waffle maker. So you take the crescent rolls, like the cinnamon rolls. Oh, yeah. And put them in the waffle maker. It's like, where have I been living my whole life? Seriously, before I got these crescent roll or the, the um, cinnamon rolls in the waffle maker. So it's a, a nice little dessert and each little roll, it's it's big enough to, to yes. fit in the mini size? So good. So good. I don't know where I've been living this long without that. It's incredible. Okay. Um, we'll apparently there's it. like a heart shaped waffle maker now too. Um, I can't find that one. So, I mean, I don't want to, what if I use this waffle maker and it breaks? What am I going to do? I need a backup. 
all the other people out there who do regularly use their waffle makers, I'm sure they're getting a good laugh out of the fact that you've just discovered like the waffle maker. It's the perfect cold weather activity. Hey, before before we we get a wrap from our producers though, I want to know how Oscar's doing because I'm concerned um, that he's going to eat your house <laughs> entirely. Listen, he's lucky he's so cute. So, you know, in your story yesterday, I kept looking outside. I kept waiting for like a glimpse of just a break in the rain because I had to take him on his walk. You know, he didn't get his walk. And so he gets real cranky when that happens. So I found a break and we go out and we walk, 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 and everything was great. And, you know, I talk to him all the time and we have these conversations about how much I love him and how much I want him to leave his my things alone. Don't chew on my things. You know, I talk to you. I take you on these long walks every day. What does he do? He chewed the remote control. Yeah, I saw the that picture The remote of this. control that controls the one television that I know how Ooh, to use in this can't house. Be, that, that cannot be good. Does it still work? No, no, that does not work. So we, there's another, there was another one that I wasn't aware of, but that one, if it, it changes like you're from cable to if, if you're going to watch another platform or something, I don't know how to use it. So oh. apparently there's another remote control out of the seven that we have, but only two work on this television. You know how that is. Um, but yeah, he chewed that whole thing. Okay, we're going to need many more updates later on this week, Courtney. So write down all the things he's been eating. And I promise to our viewers, we've got a great show coming up today. Still to come, another TV series is making a big comeback. We're going to fill you in on the next chapter of Sex in the City. Courtney, we're going to see you in just a little bit. So stay cozy there at home. Plus, today, we're also going to relieve some of that 2020 stress and maybe even some stress from 2021 while losing a bit of weight. That's Joe Sam right there showing us how playing paintball can help with relieving that stress. That's when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. Well, welcome back to the show. I'm Courtney Savala at home, Derek's in studio. You know, Derek, one of my besties, I mean, she lives in New York, SJP, Sarah Jessica Parker, to everybody else. You know, I'm a huge fan. And she was here in Houston she was. Um, a couple years ago. Where's AJ? Andrew, can you grab that for me? Bring it over here. Hurry, because we're on television. I mean, we don't have all day. TV, what's that? Yeah. So because it's very normal for me to have my sarah jessica parker shoes on a silver platter oh beautiful <laughs> like cinderella you, i know you can hold it h you want to say hi to everybody say hi to derek hello hello what's up aj good to see you buddy good to see you too isn't so, he wait I'm isn't so he supposed to be in school right because now because <laughs> there is a, a sex in the city is coming back I know. Did you know this? I heard this just this morning and i thought it was a very clever way that they had announced it, you know, where they typed out the words and just like that, sort of like yep. Carrie is is typing another chapter in one of her columns or books. Cannot exactly. wait for this. This is great news. I'm so excited. And I and I, of course, uh, Kim Cattrall is not going to be part of this. There is that big falling out. And so it'll be the three of the four women coming back. But I do think that this brings a whole conversation of you know, what show would you like to see come back? I know if Orlando was asking this question, I think he would say MASH. MASH was one of his favorite shows and he binged it. He watches it all the time. That or ER. He loves both of those shows. You are So kidding. I'm, I'm going to answer for him. And I would love to see Golden Girls come back. Oh, that is a good one. Both such classics. You know, my grandpa watched MASH all the time, all the time. I actually ended up working with Gary Berghoff, who played Radar in MASH, and his daughter. And there's a whole story that I'll tell you sometime, Courtney, but I think those are very good choices. And that series, Sex in the City, it's 10 episodes, half hour each. It is coming to, uh, to HBO Max, and I think they go into production this spring. We're going to have more on that later. But in the meantime, 
Let's hear from our viewers. Which TV series would you all like to see make a comeback? Many of you have already been answering that question online. We're going to get to your comments a little later on in today's show. And Courtney, you're going to join us for that as well. Absolutely. I'm so glad to be back with you. I miss you in person. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but the orchid that you gave me, it's right back there. I can't see it, but um, I'm glad it's still alive. Give it a couple of days, I'm sure. I'm sure we're only a couple in the trash. days in. Give me, give me a little bit of grace. <laughs> okay, Courtney, we're going to see you in just a moment. But now we're going to shift gears. You can duck and dodge your way into shape this year while relieving some much needed stress at the Houston, uh, Houston's leading paintball park. Joe Sam is there now getting ready for battle. Joe, you are really into this, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I really am, Derek. It really does help you burn off those calories, but you're having such a good time while you're doing it. I'm going to not try and get Paul some paint splattered on him, but I mean, just check all that out. It's really high pace that you're getting that energy you need. Let me walk on down here so we can talk to the owner, Mr. Chris. We're having a great time out here. And when we're doing this, we're also focusing on fitness at the same time because you have these amazing type obstacle courses to where you're running around, you're moving, you're ducking, you're dodging, and you're getting those calories burned while you're having a good time playing paintball, correct? It's very true, so it's very exerting. It's very, very exerting. It's wow. Fun. And talk about the structures that we see where we are right now. So this is the fire base, so it's a simulation of an actual fire base in the Vietnam War. Uh, it's got a lot of sandbags, barrels, dunes, three bridges, three towers. Uh, it's got two-story towers, a lot of uh, army crates. So we pretty much mimic everything that you can possibly think of in a fire base in the Vietnam era. And when people are doing this, you're doing a lot of physical activity. So you're running down these bridges, you're running up the stairs here and coming down. You're doing a lot of ducking and dodging like we see Mr. John doing back here. And I'm going to actually try and battle off with him too. So while he's doing that, we're going to find out more about how you do this, but tell us where are we right now? Because we're in a pretty rural area, so you can do as much as you want out here. You can. So this is actually the survival game of Texas Paintball Park out here. We're uh, down the street from the Bush Airport. Uh, this is the oldest park in Texas, one of the uh, oldest in the country since 1984. Wow. We've got castles and west of the village right here. You're actually on fire base in the Vietnam era right now. Come on now. So I feel like I'm actually in war right now, too. So we're going to get ready to send things back on over to you, Derek. And I'm going to go and try and get this guy over here, you see, I got him running. I got him running. <laughs> okay, Joe, be careful out there. Have a good time. We're going to check back in in just a little while. When Houston Life returns from cleaning gadgets to smart home upgrades, the latest products from the 2021 Consumer Electronics Show. And we'll check back in with Lauren Kelly, highlighting how Houston Habitat for Humanity is helping Houstonians get back to work. We'll be right back. CES is an incredible glimpse into the most important gadgets of the future. And this year, the convention is going virtual, allowing companies a safe way to share their new innovations with the world. Joining us today with the latest from CES 2021 is Tech Life columnist Jennifer Jolly. Jennifer, it is great to see you. And every single year, I mean, people focus on smartphones and televisions. What new gadgets are you seeing at CES this year? Well, every year we see our fair share of fringe, futuristic, and just plain fantastical gadgets. You know, think like flying cars that will never actually come to be, not in our lifetime anyway. But this year there's been a reckoning of sorts with the tech world and we're seeing more gadgets that focus on what we want and what we need for the price we can afford, especially with working from home. So one of the best gadgets I've been able to go hands-on with already uh, i unboxed it just over the weekend it's this just unveiled samsung galaxy chromebook 2. this two-in-one device has the world's first qled display on a chromebook that's that same advanced tech that samsung uses in their best televisions they also sweetened the sound extended battery life and lowered the price the galaxy chromebook 2 is expected out in q1 this year for just under 550 dollars great bit of technology for a very affordable price for how futuristic this already is.
Yeah, it's cool that it folds uh, both ways as well, sort of like a transformer. Okay, so Jennifer, obviously COVID sort of changed the world in so many different ways. Cleanliness is a huge focus for everyone these days, sanitizing, washing hands. Are you seeing any products this year at CES addressing that issue? Oh, I am. I am seeing so many anti-germ gadgets in every shape and size this year. They're a huge deal from giant robotic UVC lights that roll through rooms and sterilize the whole room as it goes to this germ crushing backpacks. This two office antimicrobial backpack from tech accessory company Targus is actually made out of water resistant silver ion material. So there are German bacteria fighting features embedded in the really durable fiber. This creates a cleaner barrier between that outside world and your safe little bubble at home. Should be out in April for around $120. Oh, okay, not bad. It's a good looking bag as well. Okay, so home tech. This is something, Jennifer, that I swear years ago, it was sort of like the Jetsons, the idea that we could actually talk to devices and turn on the lights and the HVAC system at home, maybe open your garage door. I know home tech is always a huge category, smart homes. It's CES, what's catching your eye this year? Kohler is showing off its newest touchless toilet, so there's no need to flush with your fingers. A wave of the hand does the trick. Same thing for its newest touchless faucets with integrated sensors to keep you from accidentally putting your fingers on some potentially germy surface. Also, really big buzzword this year, more delight out of your smart home gadgets, like the Moxie showerhead. That's the high-end Bluetooth speaker that magnetically attaches inside the stream of water on your shower to pump out tunes, and then you just take it with you. You just pull it out and take it with you when you go. And then check this out. For your most luxurious life at home, they have the stillness bath. It's a Japanese zen-like square tub with light, fog, and aromatherapy to create a spa-like experience, luxury experience at home. If I could afford that gadget, that would be one that would be on my list immediately. But that runs in the six grand range. A lot of other gadgets are a lot more affordable in that Kohler family of awesome home tech. Touchless is the way to go. I think that shower speaker too is so cool. I mean, I, I know I'm not the only one out there who sings in the shower. Jennifer, uh, we're out of time, but before we let you go, is there a way that, you know, regular folks like me can tune into what's happening at CES this week? You can follow along with the CES channel on YouTube. You can follow along with all of the press uh, releases and the things that they're putting out to the general public. Or you can stay tuned with people like me. Who I am attending the digital show. Sometimes you have to pay for that. But this year, uh, you know, the general public isn't allowed to go. So it's best just to follow along with your favorite tech reporters uh, to get the very, very latest. I'm going to start posting later today uh, all kinds of really cool gadgets that you will actually be able to buy this year. All right, Jennifer Jolly, thanks so much for your time. Have a great time, and we'll check in with you a little bit later. Thank you, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And to our viewers, you can also head to our website, HoustonLife.tv, for more info on this year's virtual event. Now let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who's helping out in a big way this afternoon with Houston Habitat for Humanity. Hi, Lauren. That's right. Hey, Derek, we're out here. And you know what? We're keeping our people as spaced out as they can be, nice and socially distant to get this build done again for our eighth year in a row. And I was talking to Angela Burks Cox about it. Every time we do this, it's freezing, but always. we don't mind. It's always the <laughs> coldest day of the year. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having our KPRC family out again this year. We just, we wouldn't pass it up. And we're so excited to, for you all to be here, and we appreciate your support. Absolutely. Now, we're on the southeast side of town today, getting the walls built. Can you tell us a little bit about the job training that you guys offer? Oh, sure. So um, back in 2015, when the first Memorial Day flood came, we realized that there just weren't enough trained, qualified people to be able to do the work that needed to be done. Absolutely. And so our program was born. And what we decided were there were three things that we thought were really important to make sure that this program is successful. One is that the trainees actually get paid. So right. they have a 40 hour work week and they get paid and they and their pay increases as their skills increase. Absolutely. Secondly, we wanted to make sure that they had um, coaching, both uh, financial coaching and employment coaching. And third, 
We wanted them to do real work. We're not talking about simulation. We're talking about real work. And so with those three things in mind, we started our training program. And we're now actively looking for trainees. Well, thank you so much, Angela. Don't go anywhere. We've got plenty more to come from our Houston Habitat for Humanity Bill. And also a look at what's coming up in the 4 o'clock news break. Welcome back to Houston Life. The time is now 3.30 on the dot. I'm Derek Shore in Studio B, along with Courtney Savala, joining us from home. Hi, Courtney. Hey, it's so good to see you guys, and it's good to have a little bit of normalcy throughout the day. And at the top of the show, we were talking about, of course, Sex in the City, having a reboot, and we asked our viewers what y'all would like to see to come back on the airwaves and y'all had so many great comments i think we're going to get started is it tommy that's right uh, tommy writes in that he would love i agree with tommy golden girls we need the comedy we sure do that's a good one to just watch back again that that show was so ahead of its time and sam writes in a 2021 version of three's company <laughs> oh my gosh you know what i was not allowed to watch three's company because it was considered too risque in my house. It was very risque back in the day. The Regal Beagle. I think we could have a reboot of that. It would be fun. Mm -hmm. How about the Love Boat? Did anybody write that? Oh, yeah. Um, Sherry wrote in that she would love to see Murder, She Wrote. I watched them so much. My sister said if she wins the Mega Million, she's going to have different endings inserted. <laughs> ah, and you know what, Sherry? I looked this up. Angela Lansbury is now 95 years old, born what? in 1925. She is a legend and fantastic. I support the, the idea of bringing that one back. And Linda writes in, all my children, I miss Erica Kane's fake crying. Love me some Susan Lucci. You know, I guess she did have a little bit of a fake cry, didn't she? Oh, well, yes, all soap opera stars do. And the slapping, there's always some good slaps in there. And our viewer Doug Stout called in and he said he would like to see a remake of Cheers. So oh, that's I think a great that's show. a great one as well. All right, Courtney, all let's uh, check in with Andy, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up on Channel 2 News at 4. Hi, guys. Hey, you know who I'd like to see back yeah. on the air? Who? Ta-da! Oh, Christine Noel, she is back. How you feeling, Christine? I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Yeah, put COVID behind me. Um, I know that a lot of folks are have been dealing with it as well. So hopefully everyone's feeling better. Courtney's husband's feeling better. So yeah, thank you. Have to be back. back. Thank you. And who doesn't love a good Susan Lucci? Oh my You know, my a little gosh. over dramatization <laughs> to get the the work week started. All right, Derek. Great to see you. Uh, speaking of the start of the work week, Frank. Yes. Holy moly, are we in Michigan or what? Hey, did you hear that it snowed? Yeah. I, I saw that. I'm like, I grew up in the Midwest, and I'm like, this is, I mean, the, the sleet yesterday, I saw the, the snow in the, in the northern part of the state burr. It's nice for it to verify. You know, we saw it coming, and then sure enough, look at this. This is from Grapeland, Texas, which is up in Houston County. Uh, and they uh, picked up seven and a half inches of snow. That from Nora Cantu Windham. Some other amounts. Look at this. Madisonville, eight and a half inches. These are official from the National Weather Service. Crockett at six. Caldwell College Station, four and a half. Huntsville, 3.4 and two and a half in Navasota. So I hope you enjoyed it. I do blog about how the models did with all of this. Click to Houston.com slash weather. So check that out. In the meantime, we're left with the cold. The clouds are beginning to thin out. That's going to clear our skies. The winds out there are still fairly strong, but they're going to calm down. So a clear sky and a calm atmosphere means it's going to crater tonight. Look at these lows for overnight. A widespread freeze. You know, usually we'll draw a freeze line, but everybody's going to be freezing except the coast. Houston downtown, very close at 33. But 31 Bush, 28 Conroe, 25 in Huntsville. It's going to be chilly, but it's just one night. And then we do see a bit of a warm up until we get to Friday, then we cool down again just a little bit. So coming up, we'll talk about a light freeze that we're going to see tonight, a slow warming trend, and that Friday front and what it means to your weekend. All just right. as we get out of one weekend, we're talking about another. Oh, that's okay. That's it's never too early. For. That's right. Yeah, Frank, Frank, thank you. Here's a look at some of the stories that we are working on for our 4 o'clock news. More details being released about the state, uh, by the state rather, about those COVID-19 vaccine hubs. There are several in Harris County. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner is having a news conference as we speak with more information that you need to know. We'll have a live report 
ahead at 4 o'clock. Also coming up, Parler, the alternative social media platform favored by conservatives, now finding itself virtually homeless on the internet. This as Amazon, Apple, and Google have booted it from their platforms in a span of little more than 24 hours. Our Robert Arnold is taking a closer look at the controversy. Is it a matter of free speech? Is it legal for the tech giants to essentially shut it down? And finally, sometimes there are noises that just irritate you to no end. <laughs> a new study says one of the most irritating noises is that of someone chewing. You know, stop chewing oh, yeah. like a cow, mm -hmm. right? We'll take a closer look at some of the other irritating sounds that made the list. Derek, that was a big one with my mom growing up, like chew with your mouth yes. closed. Oh, Always. it's a big one for me too. Yeah. And that nice close-up shot of people eating, <laughs> also pretty nasty. <laughs> yes, <agreed>. we're, <laughs> we're gonna see you guys at four o'clock. Thank we'll you for that. Good. Now I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> okay, shifting gears now. Now more than ever, it is important to keep our homes clean and free of germs and viruses. And a local Houston team promises to do the dirty work for us. Here with more is Zero Res General Manager Kyle Peterson. Kyle, welcome to Houston Life. It's great to see you. And let's chat you? about Zero Res. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. So I'm essentially, good. your mission is to clean our homes without detergents and toxic chemicals. You say that that residue left behind in typical cleaning is what attracts all the gunk. Exactly, exactly. That is 100% correct. One of the things that makes us great is we, we have a patented uh, water system. It's called electrolyzed oxidated water, and that's what we are using to clean carpet. It's a, it's a lot of chemistry, but basically it's water that you and I drink. We run it through a machine, and it electrocutes it, and it spikes the pH level all the way up to an 11.4, and it's like using soaps and detergents without using soaps and detergents. So we're stripping 99.3% of the contamination out of the carpet. And the only thing that you're left with is just, uh, it's not even damp. It's just kind of a moist carpet uh, that dries in about two hours. That's incredible. Kyle, I got to tell you, when I was a kid and my mom would haul our carpet cleaning system out of the basement, I swear our floors would be wet for days. So fast forward to 2021, there's a better way to do it. Why are regular professional carpet cleanings so critical to keep up with? Well, <laughs> believe it or not, your carpet is the largest air filter in your home. Um, it's it, believe it or not, EPA says that the uh, air inside your home is 200 to 500 times worse than the air outside your home. And so with that being said, we need to clean that filter too. And even though it might look clean, I guarantee if we come in there and uh, we start cleaning, we're going to be pulling contaminants out. With Houston be the, the number one, uh, uh, has the highest allergy pollen count uh, in the country. Um, it's, it's important that we get that stuff out of there and get you breathing free where your lungs are uh, not uh, dealing with asthma and allergies and all those nasty things. Keep you clean. Yeah, Houstonians know a thing or two about allergens in the air. Talk to us a little bit about the other services because you guys do a whole lot more than just carpet cleaning. Uh, yes, absolutely. So we can clean what we can clean any kind of surface. We can clean tile, um, upholstery, uh, upholstery in your car. We can clean um, wood floors, countertops. We can clean literally everything. Your showers. Um, it's important to get all that stuff out of there because all those microscopic oils kind of drift and sit somewhere and then you don't have a way to extract it out. So you're just taking your mop and just kind of running it over there. Yeah, and just... so it's important to get all that stuff out. It's, you don't want to just spread the dirt around and the tile before and afters, the upholstery before and afters. I feel like the pictures really speak for themselves. We are tight on time, Kyle, but tell us about uh, your special offer. I know you guys get a lot of word of mouth business. You have a very high rating and that is critical uh, when it comes to hiring a company because you want to be hiring the best. Absolutely. We have hundreds of thousands uh, all over the Metroplex and, you know, um, right now we're giving you $20 off, so you're getting three rooms of carpet for that 109 and we recommend that you give us a call, folks. Uh, you can also uh, reach us on our website as well, uh, HoustonZeroRes.com, but give us a call, 281-205-4804, and uh, we're standing by. We're waiting to take your calls and uh, get, you, get you clean today.
And remember the, for 2021. Yeah, it's, it's a great time of year to keep cleanliness in mind there, Kyle. Magic words, Houston Life. For more information or to get in on Zero Res's New Year's special, you can call 281-305-4804 or visit them online, HoustonZeroRes.com. Kyle, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. See you next time. Sounds good. Happy New Year. And still ahead on Houston Life, from what to drink to how often you should take a work break, find out simple tricks to improve your brain power. Plus, Lauren Kelly is live with Houston Habitat for Humanity with information on how you can donate and shop at the Habitat Restore. I love that spot in town. We're going to learn more right after this. Here, here with Houston Habitat for Humanity, and we are out here just building away. First of all, Allison, yes, you are overseeing my nailing, but just in Stapleton, you're just <laughs> laughing at my nailing. I, I, I'm not accomplished yet. I am trying to help you. <laughs> become one with the nail. Look, I grew up in a house full of women, full of girls and only sisters. My dad didn't have a chance, That's okay? That's why we're out here today working on it. And Allison, we're in front of this beautiful restore. Yes. And I didn't even know this existed. So please tell everybody what you can come in and purchase here. So remember, when you build or something, you always have things that are left over. It always. comes to the restore. We are very much into recycling and reusing, very much giving purpose to things that have already been used once. This is the place it comes. You and, can buy it. And you know, some people need just like not a full piece of wood right. or not a full, full couch. Maybe there's just different parts. And I'm assuming that there's lots of great single things to choose from. So what we do is we have a lot of Houstonians and they don't want it to go to the dumpster. They call us and we do couches. We've got lumber. We've got doors, windows, paint. I mean, look at this. People can see this right here on the screen. There is literally everything. Yeah. Yes. It's so much inside. And you know, Allison, you said to us a second ago, too, since uh, you know, the COVID precautions that you've been taking, you've begun, the store has been online as well. Yes. So that folks don't even have to come down here. If you feel more comfortable doing it from your couch, you can take care of it that way as well. What, what the, the, the silver lining is, is that we're able then for you to be able to look, measure at your home, pick it up here. It's all good to go. And that's a really important part is to get the correct measurements. I accidentally did that the wrong way one time <laughs> and my sofa cushions on my outdoor patio seating did not work. That uh, doesn't work. <laughs> Definitely I'm gonna practice more here with the nailing and we're gonna get these walls up. We're gonna build for this local family. Just remember when you do the restore, we'll give you a tax donation because you've given us some goods. It's over a million dollars of these sales go back to building houses. So wonderful. Allison, thank you for letting us be a oh, part of it. Oh, thank you. Justin, I'm gonna need your help back you out there. Back to you guys Let's in the studio. It. We've got some nailing to Hammer do. Hammer right on. <laughs> All right, guys, have fun out there. That restore is a great spot as well. Great resource. All right, shifting gears now. If you've been feeling extra tired and sluggish during winter, you might want to look for ways to boost your brain power. Alternative medicine expert and best-selling author Bryce Wild joins us now with simple tips to help us focus and be more productive. Bryce, it is good to see you. Happy New Year. Eric, good to see you as well. Courtney, hello, guys. Happy New Year as well. It's a weird one, but there's no excuse to not stay healthy. We've got more time than ever. What are you doing right now? Oh, you know what? I'm just sitting around like a couch potato. Let's start with diet. You are right. what you eat. This is one of the oldest phrases, and there's, there's truth to it. Every little bit of truth to that adage, Derek. Let's start with coloring up. We all need to get eight to 10 servings in a servings a half a cup of colorful fruits and veggies and fiber rich greens into our diet every single day. The other one is fats. So out with the bad fats, let me tell you what those are, conditioned olive oils and vegetable oils. They actually degenerate brain cells, believe it or not, Derek, and they pack on the pounds. What we want are colorful fats, a very, very dark green avocado or olive oil if you can find it virgin. But here's my trick when it comes to diet and fats and coloring up for the new year, Derek. Red, sustainable Malaysian palm oil. And on the label, what you want to look for is trans fat free and non-GMO. That's really key. But you know what I've been doing with this stuff, Derek, you know, because it's so incredibly healthy for the brain. Uh, it's got something called topotrienols in it, by the way, that's a mouthful, but they're, they're so powerful, your heart and your brain, they make supplements out of this. You can actually supplement with this oil very much like your fish oil. But I've been adding it, it's very heat resistant. I've been adding it to my coffee in the mornings, Derek. Have you ever tried adding like a coconut oil or a or some alternative oil to your coffee? 
Huh, you, you know what, I have tried it before, but it's, it's not something that I think to do. So you say that's a great way to sneak it into the diet. So, so kick out the cream and here's how you healthify. Use the sustainable Malaysian red palm fruit oil. But something to keep in mind, no more than three cups of coffee a day, okay? There is something to intermittent fasting, by the way. It's something I do, so I don't eat until about one o'clock. But between the time I wake up and I do have my first meal, I'm actually consuming coffee with that Malaysian red palm oil. And it really helps to keep off the pounds. But no more than three cups or about 300 milligrams. That's really, really important. And also, Really no consuming coffee after about the 12 o'clock, 1 p.m. time frame. Because that can mess with your schedule. We got a, about a minute left, Bryce, to cruise through these last few points. Aside from diet, you say schedule, lighting and eye care, and break taking are critical. So you, every hour, once you're in your workday, and we're all working longer hours than we should be, apply the 50-10 rule. So five zero minutes, 50 minutes of work, and then take a 10-minute breath. Not only just to sort of take yourself away from those screens, but also literally and figuratively do some deep breathing. And Derek, your environment, your office environment should be very, very well lit, all right? And maybe even try one of these guys here. This is called an SAD light. We're in those months right now in the winter. This is gonna turn on serotonin, which is a feel-good hormone, and it's going to turn off melatonin, which is really only want to be reserved for the brain when it comes to nighttime. Also, maybe consider uh, blue blockers. So these things help to dampen uh, the actual bad high-intensity blue light from all of these devices that we spend most of our days on, Derek. Okay, brain energy. Thanks for helping us improve it. Bryce Wild. it is great to see you. Thanks for the tips. You as well. Stay well, guys. And to connect with Bryce, you can head on over to our website, HoustonLife.tv. Still to come on Houston Life, we're checking back in with Joe Sam, who is burning off some calories with a little game of paintball. That's when Houston Life returns. Welcome back here to Houston Life. We've been having a great time here at <laughs> the Bible Games of Texas. Oh, oh, I've been hit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I mean, what a fun time we've been having. You see, I've been injured here at Fort Sam, so I've lost the battle. Chris, what an incredible time we've been having here. And this really does get you a workout going, because you're running, you're ducking, you're dodging, you're sliding, you're doing a lot here. Extremely workout. You're running, diving, sliding, and you play for two to three hours, so you're putting your body to intense physical activity nonstop. Absolutely, and it's something that's cool for people to take a break from the traditional type of workouts that you see in the gym. This is something you can come do that's non-traditional, it's fun, but you're still burning so many calories while you're doing it. And look at where we are right now. We are in a castle, <laughs> which I'm calling Fort Joe, but there are so many other areas here that people can enjoy. It's great, and the great thing about paintball is the fact that you can be 12 years old or 80 years old, male, female, it does not matter. You're all in the same playing field, and everybody has a great time. If you don't know anybody when you show up, you know everybody by the end of the day. And people can take advantage of some really cool things that you have going on here, right? We do. So we actually got Western Towns, Castles, Vietnam Villages, Towers, Dunes, Sandbags, Hills, Bunkers, Ammo Crates, you name it, we've got it. And um, some great specials, too. That we, this is a good time to come out here and do this. We do. we got some great specials. You can go to our website, SurvivalGateTexas.com, or you can go to Eventbrite. Eventbrite has a lot of specials going on right now at Eventbrite. Or uh, Family Discount Fun is a great spot, too. So, Chris, we're going to let you go on out and get your mask back on and get ready just like I'm doing. We're staying safe. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get back at it as we send things on back to you guys in the studio because we don't, we don't play around here. <laughs> okay, Joe Sam, you be careful out there. It looks like a good time. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including an actress from the Netflix film We Can Be Heroes. But for now, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. Hey, Kevin. Derek, tonight on ET, what we know about the return of Sex in the City and also why Samantha isn't coming back. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. Now, stay right there because Houston Life will be right back. 
Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, a unique workout using drumsticks to help you shred that winter weight. How this local fitness class will help you lose weight while feeling like a rock star. Plus, we'll chat with Texas actress Yaya Goslin about her star-making role on Netflix's We Can Be Heroes. All right, looking forward to that. And in the meantime, Courtney Zavala holding down the fort at home. I know you are being school teacher and caregiver for Orlando. How are you going to spend the rest of the day? You know, um, well, I guess cleaning up. I've got a load of laundry that I need to uh, tackle, make dinner, you know, usual stuff. Are you doing dry January? Oh, honey, dry <laughs> January was so 2019. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need I to know more to. <laughs> about this uh, later this week, Courtney, because <laughs> I've had my moments as well. It's been a rough 2021, but it's great to see you. That does it for Houston Life. We're going to hand it off to our friends over in Studio A for the News at 4. Hi, Andy, Christine.